Well, we're here just a couple of blocks away from the West Side Highway where this incident took place. And as you can see, still plenty of New York Police Department activity. This as close as the public and indeed the press can get to the site of this investigation. Of course, what we understand so far is just after 3 o'clock p.m. local time, a, a truck mounted onto a bike path and hit multiple people, according to the NYPD. We now understand that it seemed to have hit a school bus, and then we understand that an individual got out, the police believe, holding firearms. We now understand, according to the NYPD, that they have found a pellet gun as well as a paintball gun. Now, of course, the real question now turns to what exactly was the motivation, of course. As, as far as we understand, one suspect is in custody. And, of course, what we've heard so far is we've heard from New York's Mayor Bill de Blasio, who says that this was a cowardly act of terror. Now, we've also heard from U.S. President Donald Trump. He's come out and said that this was an act carried out by a sick and deranged person. Of course, for New Yorkers, of course, this always these acts of terror of course a huge area of concern especially considering the location if we come around and see exactly where we're situated we're situated just a handful of blocks away from one world trade of course um, of course the site of the 9-11 terror attacks of course something that has left a permanent scar on the, the new york city at time skyline so now the real question is uh, what exactly was the motivation for this attack? Of course, let's not forget the timing as well. A slight juxtaposition here on the streets. Of course, it is Halloween, and while we've seen huge amounts of work from first responders, huge amounts of concern from New York residents, also we've seen many people going about their, their business. Of course, it is Halloween, and many people are still going out trick-or-treating, and that's very much tying into the message from New York's Mayor Bill de Blasio, who urges people to go about their daily lives, but at the same time, to stay vigilant.